What's happening guys? BRB Stormbreaker with yet another review of San Diego Comic Con stuff. This time we got the first edition Transformers Prime Optimus Prime. Alright, so if you look at it, the box, it looks like the, the front of Optimus Prime's chest you can see right here, all the little parts to it. Yeah, on the top on the box it says Optimus Prime. On the side it says Transformers Prime, first edition. Same thing on the other side. Now on the back, it says, One day an Autobot shall rise from our ranks and use the power of the Matrix to light our darkest hour. So you see Optimus Prime right there taking his... Optimus, I guess you could say, becoming Optimus Prime right there with the Matrix of Leadership in his hands. It's a sweet packaging. I like it. Now right here, this part right here is magnetic, which is pretty cool. You enter the magnetic, you open it up, and there you go, the matrix of leadership with Optimus Prime inside. And I see right here, a bunch of stuff, it's talking about it. Another picture of Optimus Prime with the matrix. Over here, it's talking about the TV show coming on the hub, Transformers Prime. I don't know if you've seen it, but it, I kind of like it. I don't have the channel, I used to have it, but... This is, it's a pretty good show. It was entertaining. I liked Optimus Prime in there. Alright. So here we go. Let's take him out. That is a sweet package. So right there. Yeah, another picture. The same picture again with Optimus. I think they could use a different picture by now. After using it, what, three or four times? Alright, let's get him out of the packaging now. Let's see what he looks like. Here we go. Got him unboxed. He looks pretty sweet, actually, if you can see it up close on his face. Some good, good detail they put into it. Not the greatest, but it is good for his size. So he's not that big, but some good articulation in the legs. Legs can move all around. Head, head can move good. Got a can uh, blaster with him. Might have some articulation to it. Um, yeah, overall, he's got some good articulation. See on the back of him, the back view. He's very nice for like he's not like I said before. He's not that big in size, but he does have a lot of good features to him. A lot of good detail. Now, let's see if I can transform him so you guys can see what he looks like in his vehicle mode. Alright, so here we go in robot mode. I think he's pretty cool. Rolls good. This looks like a normal truck, you know? Not one you'd expect to be a giant fighting robot. Let's see a little... Focus in a little... Autobot symbol right there. Um, guy's gun on his back. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's everything's well placed. You don't see any like parts sticking out of it or anything. It puts together very well. Instructions aren't that hard to follow. Pretty easy stuff. Um, yeah, let's change it back into robot and see the size comparison with some other action figures. Okay, size comparison. So you can see, right, this is the War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. You can see they're almost the same size, but this one is just, Cybertronian Optimus is just a little bit bigger. He's got a bigger gun. His chest comes out a little bit more. Um, they're almost, they're about the same size, but just, this one's a little bit bigger. Let's see, compared to 3 inch uh, Marvel Universe Colossus and 6 inch Walmart exclusive Iron Man so yeah he's it's a fairly good size, a decent size um, I believe he was around twenty dollars I think it's a good price for him, it's Comic Con exclusive so it, it, it's worth it um, so yeah this is the review, got some more coming your way Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell me what you think about it. 
uh, what I should improve. Just tell me my overall how I'm doing. Alright, well thanks for watching. This is BRB Stormbreaker.